Hello, hello. Welcome to Shading Y. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a jewelry jar. Yay! I haven't found a jewelry jar in forever. Hope everybody's doing great. My name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple websites, and we bring everything to you first. This jewelry jar, adorable little thing, um, I paid $25 for a cute little story. Um, I went and had lunch with my um, girls, my Disney girls. Um, y'all should know them. Um, I had vacation and I showed y'all some um, details from that. But um, that was not last year, I don't think. It could have been the year before. Time flies. <laughs> anyway, um, went and had lunch in this cute little Florida town and they had as I was leaving I saw that they had a little uh, church thrift store and I went in there and they had jewelry jars so I'm trying it's a small um, opening so I'm trying just to get them out there's two of them I'll empty them both for us and go through it if you see anything you're interested in very simple all you do is send me an email to one shadingy at gmail.com will send you um, a PayPal invoice. You don't have to have a uh, account. They you can use it as a guest. But when you send us an email, just send the screen, uh, not screenshot, timestamp and a description of what you're interested in. If you haven't purchased from us before, um, just send us your mailing address. If you look below this video, you will see instructions on um, all everything I just said in there. Um, and I did want to cover my ring that I'm wearing. Um, this um, is still um, my personal ring. And I'm not sure if I told the story, but I think this is a... Um, cute little story years ago as I said um, I take vacations with um, my my husband actually named my friends Disney friends because we all used to work at Walt Disney World um, and we were all travel agents for them and anyway long time ago we went to the um, uh, Walt Disney World and the Magic Kingdom, and we were on the Pirates of the Caribbean, and one of the pirates had a pointer finger ring. I am almost sure it was a cornelian. I have been looking for a pointer um, perfect ring that I wanted to get um, just because I loved the way it looked. So I'm keeping this one for the time being, but of course, you know, I change out my rings, and whenever I am ready to change it, I'll bring it to you first. So, there's that story. Um, okay, so let's just jump right in, see what we have here um, in our jewelry jar, okay? Here is Silver Tone, um, no name. Um, these are heavy, they're like glass, but um, there is one here that's peeling and yeah, there's a couple of heels. So this one's just gonna be a dollar, but it is real pretty. It's kind of almost like a seafoam green, barely. Um, but that's a cute one. Um, this is cool. Let's see, this is um, one of those interlocking um, plastic necklaces. There is no clasp. It has these little dangles at the end. Um, it is in a really pretty um, bluish green. Um, it is 32 inches with a two inch tassel. And I'm just gonna say, let's do $2 for that one. Let's see what we have here. We have a, uh, let's untangle that. Um, 
these match. These are long. Check those out. Hmm, let's see. Do these match? Hmm. They do match, but it looks like this lower ring is not here. So I don't see where it could open. Um, and there's a ring missing up here too, and a ring here. Okay, so these are just gonna be a dollar because it has missing parts. You can take those apart and um, uh, put them back together using less. Okay, we have, I haven't had a jewelry jar in so long, it's been forever. I have bonus hair there. Okay, here we have, I think it's, it's got a little bit of green needs to be cleaned up. Let's see if there's any missing rhinestones. I think it's a wrap bracelet, three strands. Um, I'm thinking this might be faux leather, um, but I'm just going to say $2 and it's a wrap bracelet like so, but, um, it's in a tan clear, um, rhinestones and then kind of like a citrine colored rhinestone. So, um, let me get you a measurement on the longest one. It is, I'm going to say six and three quarters to a seven. And um, just going to do two dollars on that one. Okay, this says rant and rave. Um, no um, price tag. It's, it has a little um, star here, little faceted earrings, and then. The necklace is on a um, lobster class, and then it has multiple um, chains, like so, and they all hang down. And uh, it's pretty, but still new Ricard. So let's see if we can get you the shortest. It is 32 inches is the shortest. So on this one, I'm going to say, um, oh, and it also has these faceted beads that are black and silver. So on this one, I'm going to say, let's do, uh, let's do $5. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see what's going on here. Definitely bonus hair going on here. Okay, it looks like we have a choker, I'm gonna guess, like so. Um, on a ribbon. So it's a lot of beads that are hanging from a ribbon. So I'm just going to say um, $2 on all the beads. Okay, this is cute. Um, this is a bolo bracelet and it is extremely small to extremely large. So this is gonna cover it all. So um, let's see if there's a name. It just says you can do it. And then there's a B and a rhinestone and another um, uh, glass bead. And this will fit pretty much anybody, um, but it is pretty. I love that little bee, you can do it. So on this one, I'm just gonna say um, $5 with the gold beads, and it's a Bolo adjustable bracelet. All right, let's see. 
Oh, now that is sweet. There is no name, but these are tiger's eye chips with some black barrel beads, um, a antiqued copper um, color chain, and then this is acrylic, but it's a flower. Isn't that pretty? It um, has an extension on it, but it's to the end of the extension. It is 16 inches and the pendant drop is one and a half inches by um, three, four, seven inch. That is cute with the tiger's eye. Um, but I'm just gonna say, let's do $5. Um, really? Okay. These are, uh, -huh. okay. It says Mexico 925. And then it says, let me get a little closer. Let's see what it says. Yeah, it says Texco 925 Mexico. Let's test it because they are, if they are sterling, they are a very um, patinaed. And it is sterling. Um, wow, I was not expecting this and a uh, jewelry jar. So, yay, score. <laughs> All right, let's get a size on these. Um, so it's a hidden clasp, okay? This one's super tight, um, but I got it. But it is tight fit in there. Um, but these are on a chain and they're all sterling. I love that um, they do have that patina on them. Look at that. These generally run in the um, literally one to two um, for 30 inch beads. Um, Taxco, um, probably around 30 inches, probably around 175 to two if put on eBay. But for you, I'm gonna say let's do um, it was two ninety dollars. Cool. Look at this one. All right. This is um. I think they're called Dragon's Claw or Eagle's Claw. Okay, so they're. I've never seen one this high, but I'm kind of wondering if this is sterling or metal. It's not magnetic. There is a little bit of pull on the, um, this part. So let me get, let's test the bead ball chain. Definitely not sterling. And that's for the um, eagle. No blue. So it's just silver tone. Let's test the glass and it's just glass let's get you a measurement it is 24 inches with the dragon's claw or eagle's claw about an inch and three-eighths by about three-fourths of an inch 
on the glass there is some um, uh, pings in the bottom but I'm gonna say let's do let's do seven dollars uh, let's see here we have a cuff it's pink leather it says it's got cross uh, yeah crosses on it and musical notes it needs to be cleaned it says he restores my soul um, and it is adjustable the largest it is it's about a seven inch so I'm gonna say since it needs cleaning I'm just gonna say three dollars on that one here we have a um, stretch ring and it does have some missing um, rhinestones all in here quite a few of them so I'm just gonna say a dollar for that here's another um, rhin uh, stretch adjustable ring uh, this one is pearls and gold beads I'm trying to see if there's anything missing there's rhinestones in the center I don't see any missing um, so I'm just gonna say um, three dollars for the bow um, adjustable ring here we have a little bracelet hmm oh it's um, here's the lobster class and it's coming up came apart it has some charms there's a heart another heart that says mother and another one that says just uh, filigree I'm just gonna say a dollar since it needs to be repaired here we have um, a rhinestone bangle silver tone really light um, metal it is eight inches and I'm just gonna say two dollars this is pretty this says Los Angeles uh, it's clamper bracelet it says guess there's glitter rhinestones but it is um, losing unless it's supposed I guess it's supposed to be rose gold but it has a lot of scratches on it so I'm just gonna say um, it is seven and a quarter inch but I'm just gonna say two dollars because it does have a lot of scratching on the edges unfortunately this is cute but it has missing rhinestones um, so I'm just gonna say a dollar for the bracelet all right we have another clamper uh, not magnetic no blue so I'm just gonna say it's silver tone cute little clamper though um, needs to be cleaned up a little bit but it is textured it is six and three-fourths however it is open on the inside so I am a seven and a half and it almost fits so I'm gonna say it will go up to a seven and a quarter and I'm just gonna say um, Let's do four dollars. All right, here we have silver tone with a brass. It is magnetic, um, and that's that really cool um, chain look. 
It is with a lobster clasp. It is 18 inches. And I'm going to say, let's do $5. It's a cool look. This is fashion jewelry. It is just a hammered um, cross on a leather strand. And I'm just going to say a dollar. And it's new on card. I think that is... Um, Paparazzi crown, I'm not 100%. Here we have a number one and some um, halite dyed beads stretch. I'm going to say $2. Here we have another bracelet. Unfortunately, it is missing rhinestones also. It's dyed halite crosses. It is stretched. I'm just gonna say a dollar. Here we have another clamper that has rhinestones, no name. There's a little discoloration around the edges and this is a seven and a half and I'm gonna say let's just do two dollars here we have um, a really cool um, silver tone copper tone and brass tone and it says in him shall not perish but have eternal life for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish um stretch uh that's really a nice one so i'm gonna say let's do um four dollars on that one these are really nice and you can tell i think that we got this at um a church because we're having really a lot of crosses um but these are super cool. Let me see if there's a name. All right, I don't see a name. There's rhinestones, nothing missing. Aren't these nice? Uh, gold tone. They are... Um, pierced oops and they are three and a quarter inch I love those I'm gonna say five for the crosses we have a um, unsigned um, wristlet strap um, and it's in a floral pink and blue and green and I'm gonna say let's just do a dollar do these match they do are those sweet they are bees and they say you can do it on the back right here and oops sorry they have pink rhinestones I don't see any missing rhinestones. They are pierced and they are two and a half inches by one and five eighths of an inch. And I'm gonna say, let's do $4 for the bees, the pink bees. Okay, let's see. Here we have um, a stretch and it says wish my wish uh, finally comes true love a star with rhinestones love and it just continues I am not seeing any missing rhinestones um, that's sweet. So I'm going to say let's do $5 on that one.
okay let's see if these are real stones they are um I think that's um, amethyst, some type of jade on the blue, or it could be sodalite, and these could be amethyst. Yeah, so we have two amethyst and a sodalite, and um, oh, and then all kinds of little um, pebbles. And let's see. It's wrapped in a silver tone. Let's see if the silver tone is sterling. It is not, it's just silver tone. And it is about two inches by an inch and three fourths by about an inch and a quarter. And I'm gonna say just $5 on that one. All right, a couple of these, I'm not even sure where to start at. There's so many tangles. All right, these um, gold uh, brass tone hoops are two and three fourths of an inch. And I'm just gonna say a dollar. Here we have a Pandora style bracelet that says celebrate life and then beads. I don't see any missing. The heart is in a blue. It is a size seven. And on these, I can't tell if anything's missing. Um, on either one of them, but it looks like there is a, um, might be missing stones right here. So I'm just gonna say $5 on that one, just in case. Um, we do have a paparazzi, pair of earrings, bonus hair, and um, just chains. And I'm gonna say a dollar. Isn't that cute? It's a stretch ring, um, no name. It is like enameled flowers. And unfortunately on the back of the bee, there's a missing rhinestone right there. Hope I haven't been holding this up too high, um, but there is a rhinestone here and here and a pearl. And I'm just gonna say $2 on that one. Um, this is one of those magnetic bracelets. You can see the magnets here on the back. It's a cable, it is stretchable. And on this, I'm just gonna say um, $4 because there's scratches on the balls. So $4. This one is a bangle that has like chain length on the edges. It is a size eight and a half. I'm gonna say just $3. All right, we have no name pendant. Um, it's real pretty flower, but it has something on it that needs to be cleaned off. Um, this part's enamel and it is three and three eighths of an inch by two inches and it is lifted. And on that, I'm just gonna say $2 because somebody needs to clean it. Here we have a little stretch blue elephant and I'm just gonna say a dollar. Here is another one of the you can do it with the B. It's a stretch um, mesh bracelet. 
it is sitting at a six and three fourths, but it will go much bigger. Love the bee. I'm gonna say five dollars. A lot of bee stuff in this one. Here is another Pandora style. This one says, Charmed Feelings, made in China. It is a lobster clasp with rhinestones. No, not rhinestones. It's just texture to look like it. And then a pink bead, pink and white beads. It's an N um, with rhinestones. And it also has um, an extension. Right now it is sitting at a six and a half and it has an additional um, inch um, extension. So I'm gonna say $5. Here's another one of those mesh bracelets. Gold tone, has a locket and a lock with rhinestones. No missing rhinestones. Um, I'm gonna say this is the same company as the B, so I'm gonna say $5 on that one. Okay. Here we have a lobster class bracelet with Faux acrylic beads, and they are big chunks. Uh, it also has dyed shells. Oh, yeah, a couple dyed shells. It is a size seven. And on this one, I'm gonna do just five dollars. All right, we have a bracelet that has rhinestones. Nothing missing. There's the back. There is some discoloration on the back, but I don't see a name. But this is similar to um, a Lucky brand. Um, and it opens up, it's a magnet, and it goes like so. There's a little discoloration on the magnet here. Um, but it is pretty flowers. It is a size six. I'm just gonna say $4. Here is another um, Pandora style. It is silver tone, lobster class. And this one looks like the University of Alabama with an A in football and an elephant. I think that's an A, football, um, and then orange ribbons. I think that's, I'm not sure what that is. Um, so on this one, it's small. It is only a size five and a quarter, and I'm gonna do um, $4. Oh, this is cute, let's see. This is unsigned. It is a fashion ring. It's like, um, I believe a cactus, two cactus, and a faux turquoise. It is a size six. I'm just gonna say $2. Let's see, we have White House Black Market, and these are um, faceted acrylic. I think they're acrylic. I think they're glass. Nice and heavy, um, different sizes, um, really pretty. It has an extension, but where it is right now is 35 inches with an additional two and a half inch extension. I'm gonna say $6 for the faceted black beaded necklace.
we have, let's see. A knot. <gasps> like, what's going on? <laughs> okay, so no clasp. And here's the necklace. It is a key, um, has a little bit of discoloration in it here, no missing rhinestones. And then there's a lock and then another small key. And the length on this is 28 inches with a four and a half inch drop. And I'm gonna say, let's just do $6 on that one. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, silver tone with Aurora Borealis beads and then starfish. Uh, that is pretty. Like I said, silver tone and pretty long uh, lobster class. It is 36 inches. And I'm gonna say, let's do $6 for the starfish necklace. Then we have a dove with red, or is that a sparrow? That's a sparrow. Um, it is like a burgundy um, enamel, I mean, yeah, enamel, and no name. It's like, a pewter finish to it. It is magnetic, so it's definitely not pewter. Um, the chain is 18 inches with a five inch extension. And then the bird is two and an eighth of an inch by two inches. And I'm just gonna say, let's do $5 for that one. And then this one, Silver tone, has a small knot I can get out. No name, but it's just an anchor. Um, I don't see an anchor uh, name on the back either. It's rhinestones. There is a missing rhinestone right there. So I'm just gonna say um, $2 for, or a dollar for the anchor. We have acrylic, let's see, is this acrylic? Really light tone metal. These are acrylic beads. Yeah, it is 16 inches with a two inch extension. And I'm gonna say, let's just do a dollar. Now, this one's interesting. It says made in China, it's adjustable, and it's a demon or a devil. It is a size nine. And I'm gonna say, um, it's not interesting. I'm gonna say $5 on that one. Here we have a cuff. No name, has a little bit of discoloration on the back and on the front. It's hammered with a little lock. Right now it is a size seven. I'm just gonna do $5. Uh, here we have some uh, sequin um, large hoops. They are three inches and I'm gonna say, let's just do a dollar. Uh, here we have um, a really pretty um, wire um, choker. These are glass beads. Um, 
really pretty the way they cascade down and they are in pink and blue and purple and on these I'm gonna say let's do five dollars we have another B this one is a cuff and it says you can do it there's rhinestones on the tips um, no missing rhinestones it is a size seven and a half right now. I'm going to say $5 on that one. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Silver tone necklace. Isn't that pretty? And they are flowers, like little daisies. Aren't those cute? looks very brightness but there's no B anywhere um, it is 18 inches with a two inch extension um, these are acrylic um, are they acrylic they're cat's eye see how it moves I guess they're glass that's pretty cool. These are, this is nice. I'm going to say um, $8 on the little daisy necklace. Uh, this is pretty. My hands are filthy. <laughs> this is silver and gold with faux pearls. Um, one long piece. It has an extension and a lobster clasp. It is 36 inches with a three inch extension. And I'm just gonna say um, $4 on that one. All right, this one has an added extension on it. It is rhinestones. I don't see any missing rhinestones, no name. It is silver tone, 16 inches. With a three inch extension, that one's cute. I'm gonna say, let's just do $3 on that one. This one said, God is within her, she shall not fail. Psalms 46.5, I think it is. So we'll just do a dollar. This is pretty, it's a little pendant, a closet a pendant. Um, really pretty. It is one and three eighths of an inch by um, seven eighths of an inch by a quarter of an inch. And it is a beige background with a sweet, like rust and uh, flower and green, light green leaves. Really pretty. And the reason I give so much detail is a lot of people say that with the their phones, they can't get really good clear color. So that's why I just give you a little bit more. I'm going to say $7 on the Closine, um pendant. Uh, let's see. This is pretty. Just a little bangle. And it has like just these little doodads on it. <laughs> um, this is black with gold. It isn't cold to the touch at all. I think it's just um, not glass, but some type of acrylic. And then a filigree leaf. And then this little um, charm. It's pretty. This is a size eight. I'm going to say $5 on that one. We have these leaf. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. It's all, is it all there? No, we're missing a wire. Um, I think it's supposed to be like so. 
So just a dollar on the feather earrings. Tangles. That's pretty. Let's see if there's a class. I do not see a class. These are acrylic and these are just metallic. It is, oh, there is a clasp. It is a lobster clasp. And it is 30 inches. And I'm just going to say it's super light. I'm just going to say $3 on the green beaded silver tone necklace. All right, this one says 1928. Um, it has a shepherd's hook clasp, and it is pretty. Um, faceted black um, cabochon heart with rhinestones, nothing missing. And then it has faux pearls and plastic beads. As I said, it's 1928. It is 16 inches with a inch and a half extension. And I'm just gonna say $3. We have a watch. Um, it just says quartz. Um, and it's gold and silver. And I don't see a name. Let's see if there's a name on the back. No, just stainless steel back. So I'm just going to say $5. Here we have see if this says anything it looks like inlaid hearts it is not sterling it's faded I think it's a silver plate because there was a little blue and then it went away it's inlaid um hearts in a turquoise color and a coral color it is a size seven and i'm just gonna say six dollars okay this is sterling and it says bars 925 well that's nice across So there's the cross, and here is the clasp. And there's your blue. Okay, on the bars, I'm gonna do uh, 15 for this cool cross. This is VCLM trademark. Uh, that's nice. It is silver tone. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strands. And it just is layered. It is missing one rhinestone here in the center, but um, the shortest is 18 inches and the longest is 32 inches. And um, I'll find a rhinestone and put in here and I'm going to do 15 for this one because it is pretty fabulous with all these chains. So nice piece here. This one is a star, just a star and a chain, silver tone. It is 
28 inches with the star being an inch and a half. And I'm gonna say just $5. Uh, here is a quarter and it's cut into like a horse. So on the back, interesting. And it says it's a safety class, round safety class, thumb clasp. People call them different things. People get upset when I don't call them what they call them. <laughs> it is 24 inches and the quarter is an inch. And I'm just gonna say, let's do $3. Um, silver tone, lobster clasp, and then these crosses that look like a faux shell. Um, pretty nice. It is one long chain. It is 36 inches with a three inch extension. And I'm gonna say $3 on that one. This one has some discoloration on the chain and it's an F with rhinestones, um, but the chain is discolored. It's a safety clasp. So I'm just gonna say um, $2 on the F because of this discoloration. This one is a premier design, uh, pretty. It is in a gunmetal and a rope chain, a nice piece. This is, let's get you a length. Eighteen inches with a two inch extension and the pendant is an inch and three fourths by an inch and a quarter. And I'm gonna say, let's do $6 on the Premier Design. Uh, this is a rhinestone um, key, and it says CC925, so it's cubic zirconia, and the chain has a small little um, lobster clasp. It is marked 925 on the little clasp and then a little rhinestone. Let's test it. So at least I've gotten some um, sterling in this um, little uh, two jewelry jars. I just continually went into the second one it is blue. So on the little lock uh, key, rhinestone or cubic zirconia key, it is a cable chain with an extension. It is 16 inches with a two inch extension. And I'm gonna say just $12 on the little key. This one says Avon, and it is a little locket with a breast um, cancer um, ribbon. There's the inside. It is silver tone. Seventeen inch chain with a one and a quarter inch lock it and I'm gonna say just five dollars this is pretty let's see okay so we have an added extension on this one and let's see do we have a mark 
It is a blue teardrop rhinestone. Let me turn it on, on the presidium. Let me see if I can find a mark on this. It's not magnetic. Let's see if it's sterling. It doesn't look like it, no. It is a French um, rope chain. And I'm gonna guess these are glass. Yes, just glass. So it's a very pretty. Let's give you a size. So it is blue glass, cubic zirconia or cubic zirconia. It is 16 inches with an inch and a half extension. And I'm just gonna say $6. We have Silver tone sandal that is a peace sign, a heart, and um, uh, Alabama A, I believe. And it is a rope chain that is 18 inches. The um, <laughs> bail, there, I got it out is discolored, no missing rhinestones, um, lobster clasp. I'm just gonna say $3. Okay, um, more knots. So we have a Merry Christmas, and it is on a safety chain. I'm pretty sure it is sterling because it feels like it. There's our blue on the chain, not on the um, Christmas. So I'm just going to say $10 on the charm and the sterling chain. So we have this. 103.7 Q on a bead ball chain. That's going to be a dollar. And the bead ball chain is twenty four inches. We have pearlized beads. A dollar. This is really pretty. It is in an antique gold. This hanging from two chains. And then that's in the center, like so. And then this is at the bottom with um, beads. It is a total of 32 inches and the shortest one is 22 inches. Love this one. Um, so it's like so. I'm going to say $10 on that one. That one's really pretty. We have these 
these earrings match. These are copper. And um, they are two inches by an inch and a half. And I'm gonna say, let's do $5. These match, it looks like. And these are glass. Aren't those pretty? Green and silver. Um, let's see these. Little two beads. They are not sterling. they're glass and they're green I'm gonna say let's do let's give you a link on them three and three-eighths of an inch and I'm gonna say let's do four dollars we have this pendant no name I'm just gonna do three dollars on that one have this pendant no name just a dollar. Um, here's more bees. These are long. Bees at the top with rhinestones and then like little honeycombs. These are two and three-fourths of an inch, and I'm going to say $5 on those. These look like they match. Those are really pretty. I'm going to say let's do $3 on those. These are more um, Alabama um, earrings and I'm gonna do oh those are cool look at those paws um I like these orange paws I'm gonna say uh four dollars on those um these are more the bees and uh, no missing rhinestones I'm gonna say four dollars on those um no match for this one this one this one no nothing no, no. Nothing. These match, and they're just chains, and they're going to be a dollar. No matches here. Actually, these do match. So I'm just going to say a dollar. Then I've got some chains. And that's it. So what did you think? Um, I thought there were some good things. There was some sterling. So much stuff just wadded in balls. Um, so if you saw anything that you were interested in, definitely send me an email to one shady and why thank you for joining us today and we will see you on the next one. Bye.